by them. Um, let's start for this question. Okay, so to do this question, the first thing we notice here is that on the left hand side, we have sign and quote. But on the right hand side, we only have course and sign. So what we are going to do to the left hand side term, what we can do to the left hand side term so that it comes out only in the form of course and sign. Yeah, so we can represent quote x as cos x over sin x remember so i can write this equation as 1 minus sin x divided by sin x times cos x over sin x right so the sin x would cancel out and on the left hand side we would be left with 1 over 1 minus sine x divided by cos x right so now we have to reach from here to here right so what can i do to get 1 plus sine x on the bottom yeah we are going to multiply with 1 plus sin x on top and bottom half now what this gives us is if you notice this is a minus b and this is a plus b you might already know this identity that a minus b times a plus b equals a square minus b square right so now we can write it as our a is 1 so a square minus b square b is our sin x so b square would be sin square x divided by cos x times 1 plus sin x so now you might be asking why I didn't divide cos x with 1 and then with sin because if you see here on the right hand side I need 1 plus sin x that's why I am not multiplying it do you remember the equation sin square x plus cos square x equals 1 the identity we just did so here we are just going to manipulate the identity to get what we want so i can take sine over there or subtract sine from both sides and i'll have cos square x equals 1 minus sine square x i can replace 1 minus sine square x with cos square x divided by cos x times 1 plus sine x right and cos would cancel the square term and we'll be left with cos x divided by 1 plus sine x that's it now let's take a look at uh, another question all right so now we have to solve this question and here we can see the terms are in sec and co tan and the final term we have just tangent so what we usually do in these type of question is we convert all these functions sec and co tan into those basic functions which are sine and cos so i can represent secant square theta as in form of cos as 1 over cos square theta which is again divided by cot theta and cot theta can be written as cos theta over sine theta right and then this whole thing is subtracted with tangent cube theta tangent cube theta can be written in form of sine and cos sine cube theta over cos cube theta right and now we can change this division sign into multiplication sign 
by flipping these two terms. So I have 1 over cos square theta times sin theta over cos theta. And then again, subtract sin cube theta over cos cube theta. Right? Now what I'm going to be left here with is sin theta over cos cube theta minus sine cube theta over cos cube theta now if you notice here we have the same denominator so we can directly combine the top the numerators which is sine theta minus sine cube theta divided by cos cube theta and now we can take sine theta common and we'll be left with 1 minus sine square theta over cos cube theta right and as we know cos square theta equals 1 minus sine square theta and hence I can replace this with cos square theta and I'll be left with sine theta times cos square theta over cos cube theta. Cos square would cancel out the 3 in the denominator and we'll be just left with sine theta over cos theta which is equal to tangent theta. So what if a student doesn't remember to change it into sine and cos? It's I suggest that you remember it, but if you don't remember it or if you can't do it in that particular question, what you can do is here we have tangent. So I can convert quote into tangent, right? So I can write it as secant square theta is divided by one over tangent theta. And so this is just another method of doing the same question. Let me just separate it. All right. And this can be written uh, minus tangent cube theta. Now this thing can be written as secant square theta. And we can change the division sign into multiplication by flipping this term. So secant square theta times tangent theta minus tangent cube theta. Now I can take tangent theta common and we'll be left with secant square theta minus tangent square theta. Right? So now if you remember correctly, 1 plus tangent square theta was equal to secant square theta and again we can manipulate this term we can take tangent to the other side or subtract tangent from both sides and we'll be left with 1 equals secant square theta minus tangent square theta and we are just left with so we can replace this whole thing with just 1 so tangent theta times 1 which is tangent theta hence proved so that's the good thing about math so if you can't figure out a question using one method you can always 